a new stereotactic prostate biopsy system integrating pre-interventional magnetic resonance imaging and live ultrasound fusion. Department of Urology, University Hospital Heidelberg, Department of Radiology, German Cancer Research Center. A key challenge for prostate cancer therapy is how to diagnose precisely tumor lesions. Exact information on tumor grade, stage and site is essential in order to counsel men with prostate cancer. For this purpose, we've developed a new prostate biopsy system that combines pre-interventional magnetic resonance imaging with peri-interventional ultrasound for perineal navigated prostate biopsy. Biopsy is the first platform available for routine clinical use that integrates imaging, truss MRI fusion, biopsy planning, perineal targeting and 3D mapping into a single system. The transperineal biopsy approach was chosen for several reasons. The most important reason was to overcome inaccuracy with manual positioning of the needle guide and prostate deformation by coronal and sagittal movement of a transrectal ultrasound probe. Additional benefits include a decreased infection rate and preservation of the integrity of Denonvilliers fascia for possible future intervention. Men with findings suggesting prostate cancer, such as an elevated prostate-specific antigen level, or with a suspicious digital rectal examination, were evaluated using our novel stereotactic perineal biopsy technique. All men underwent multi-parametric magnetic resonance imaging using a 3 Tesla MR scanner without an endorectal coil at the German Cancer Research Center. Suspicious lesions were identified by radiologists and magnetic resonance images with marked lesions were imported via DICOM interface into the new biopsy system. Using a custom-made biplane transrectal ultrasound probe mounted on a stepper, three-dimensional ultrasound is acquired first by recording a series of transversal 2D images while moving the probe cranial to caudal, resulting in a 3D data set. Next, 3D ultrasound and MRI are fused together under simultaneous visualization of the axial, coronal and sagittal planes. As a result, suspicious lesions marked on the diagnostic MRI are superimposed over the intraoperative transrectal ultrasound data. Biopsy cores are then placed virtually within the three-dimensional data set. Depending on prostate size, 12 to 36 biopsies are planned, including targeted and systematic biopsy cores. This first phase of the approach, 3D ultrasound acquisition, MRI fusion and core planning, is typically completed within 5 to 10 minutes. During the following phase, the user selects the desired biopsy cores one after the other and rotates the ultrasound transducer until the longitudinal plane crosses the virtual needle insertion line. The physician then inserts the needle under continuous longitudinal ultrasound guidance. Due to a long longitudinal crystal array, the needles are visible immediately when entering the perineum and long before penetrating the prostate capsule. 
The ultrasound image is overlaid by organ and lesion contours as well as by the planned needle trajectory. Thus, real-time navigation is established in such a way that deviations from the target become instantaneously visible on the screen and can be corrected early, enabling needle positioning with high accuracy. Organ shifts during needle insertion are equally visible and can be adjusted as needed. After each biopsy, the exact needle position is manually registered and stored with orientation data for documentation purposes. The whole procedure, including anesthesia, planning and navigation, normally takes around 30 minutes. Each individual biopsy core is embedded separately and examined histologically. Results Biopsy samples revealed prostate cancer in 60% of patients. Of men undergoing initial biopsy, cancer was diagnosed in nearly 70%. Results in patients undergoing rebiopsy without a previous cancer diagnosis were positive 45% of the time. Magnetic resonance imaging findings correlated positively with histopathology in 70% of cases. In MRI lesions marked as highly suspicious, the detection rate was excellent. Lesion-targeted cores had a significantly higher positivity rate than non-targeted systematic cores. The procedural targeting error is below 2 mm. Regarding adverse effects, 2% of patients experienced urinary retention requiring short-term catheterization. Urinary tract infections did not develop. In conclusion, perineal stereotactic prostate biopsies, guided by the combination of magnetic resonance imaging and ultrasound, enable effective examination of suspicious MRI lesions. Each biopsy core taken is documented accurately for its location in three dimensions, enabling magnetic resonance imaging validation and tailored treatment planning. The morbidity rate of the procedure was minimal.